Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In previous video, we have discussed about what is OB, what is runtime group, what is run sequence, and what are the optimization techniques smooth operation in run sequence. In today's video, we will be demonstrating how to create a multi project and configure ASOS stations in the multi project. So let's get dive in. So here we are in our workstation. We will open schematic manager of PCS7. So to create a new project, we need to navigate to files and there we can have new project wizard. This window will be pop up after clicking on new project wizard. Click on next. Here we can configure our DS in our multi project. So we have n number of models to choose. We'll be going with port and single H. If you have the MLFB of the product and you don't know which category your AS is falling under, you can directly check the MLFB number in this find field and there it, it will automatically assign which is AS you have. And in additional, if you want any communication modules to be configured, you can check them here. In this case, we are not going for any communication module. Click on next. In this window, we'll be selecting what are the planned hierarchies we are declaring in our multi project. This concept of planned hierarchy will be discussed in upcoming videos. We will select one here. As you notice, our AS object CFC and SFC will be automatically imported for the sample project. If you want, you can check on this or else you can uncheck the options. So we are choosing for PCS7 OS single station. So click this. So we will be having a radio configuration which mode you want to operate. Single station system means the both ES and OS will be installed in a single system, ES system. Multiple station system means the configured system will be ES station and OS server will be separate. So you want to configure that OS and you need to download it into separate OS server. Multiple station system with redundancy means multiple OS redundancy servers. Click on next. What is the project you want to declare for your multi project? So we'll be creating our multi project name and the storage path will be coming under Siemens Step 7 as on project. Click on next. So in general, it will take one or two minutes to create a multi project by this wizard. So here our new project got created, click on OK. So here uh, we got uh, this uh, two views got arranged. So uh, mainly planned view in the sense uh, where uh, we build the logic area. So here as you can see the CFC and SFC were automatically placed as we uh, keep it default to create the CFC and SFC while creating the multi project. And in component view we will be having the AS and OS structures. So here we have selected port and single H processor and all the CFCs and SFC logical part which we have derived in plant view will be automatically replaced in corresponding charts of AS. So here under charts folder we will be having those uh, logic part. So, so here you can see the picture means uh, this is a display point. So this display point and report point will be coming under the OS. So here we have configured schematic PC station on single OS. So under this OS, you will get those two pictures. So this is how friends we need to, uh, how we can create a multi project using PCS7. You can see project named as instrumentation tools underscore multi project. And this is termed as user project. I hope this video uh, helps you find how to create a multi project using PCS7. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos on industrial automation. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.